Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. I wanted to take a quick look at the latest 3.12.0b live patch that's just come out. Some of its fixes, but also a few of its bugs in a little more detail. Basically a quick state of the game for Star Citizen and how accessible the current patch is. Although Cloud Imperium is back in their offices as well at the moment, they still haven't returned to their regularly scheduled content. So that appears to be next week with Inside Star Citizen coming back on the 21st of January and Star Citizen Live on the 22nd. Also, in regards to things like the Xenothreat updates uh, and when that's going to be applied to the game, Xylo did answer a couple of things. Now that they're, they're basically back in the office, um, there's a few bugs to polish for Xenothreat stuff uh, and they're uh, working on that at the moment and they will keep us updated. Uh, when are the monthly reports turning up? And that should be next week. So no confirmation on when those you know, threat events will start. They're not in the 3.12.0b live patch yet though, um, but I am hoping that they will be there before the end of January. So we've had that new um, live patch. Uh, there hasn't been a database reset of any kind, so you shouldn't have lost anything, although it is Star Citizen uh, and there are bugs abound. Um, it is a few bug fixes for this patch rather than anything actually new. Uh, bounty assessment missions should now show and progress correctly again, so that is absolutely fantastic, being able to actually do those bounty hunting missions which are now nicely polished with a new reputation system, and that's all working um, as intended for the most part. If you do need to do a character reset as well, that should now also allow you to progress in bounty hunting missions too. After exiting quantum travel, the HUD on ships should no longer get stuck displaying the drive as cooling down. Ground Vehicle should no longer take intermittent damage during travel across the surface of low gravity moons. Players should now be able to activate mining consumables in the mall using the Inner Thought UI. Players should no longer gain a crime stat after completing bounty missions. Again, a good accessibility to bounty missions um, sort of fixed there. They fixed an issue causing ships to despawn after a player disembarks for a short duration. Contract pop-ups should no longer contain mission title instead of the intended text. And they fixed seven client crashes and two server crashes. There are still some known issues listed though. Selling commodities from personal inventories causes a service error, um, though the workaround for that is just to make a cargo box and then sell it directly from your ship. When logging into some commodity and refinery kiosks, they can display incorrect commodity information and prevent sales. Attempting to sell materials or minerals in prison re may result in a processing screen and then a failed transaction message. The external elevators on CRUL1 and L5 stations are missing. The shopkeepers of both live fire weapons and guaranteed events are stood away from their desks. Being arrested with both utility slots occupied, um, when you go to prison, you'll have a broken multi-tool, um, which again is a little bit annoying. I think selling commodities to shops is probably the most restrictive bug in Star Citizen at the moment though, probably, although it's arguable. It doesn't seem to also update the inventories either, so um, you can't sell large quantities um, of uh, your sort of like given commodity without server hopping. It's a bit dumb at the moment, it's a little bit annoying. There is also issues with reclaiming your ship, typically after the game's crashed, though sometimes just when your ship is destroyed, leaving it as unspawnable and in an unknown state. That's not ideal, however there are some workarounds for that. You can reset your character, that fixes that. Um, I've seen some success with renting a ship and then after the rental period, um, that works again. Also, trying to claim it from another planet and station can sometimes work too. There is also a good amount of detail sync still plaguing Star Citizen and making PvP in game pretty maddening and janky at the moment. AI is not great either. NPCs um, sort of like are erratic in their behavior and again do suffer from desync um, based on the degradation of the server and stuff like that as well. So the issues here are a little annoying to accessibility, especially for cargo haulers and miners and anyone that wants to do PvP. In fact, some situations are pretty unplayable for them. It's great that bounty hunting is playable again for sure, but ship claims being erratic as well as the desync can break the game sometimes. That said, the servers seem pretty stable though. There are a lot less 30k reports and I haven't had uh, one at all since the hotfixes from last week and this new patch. And that's one of the other things. There were a load of hotfixes last week fixing a good range of errors including halving the amount of 30k's pretty much. Uh, I'm hoping that Cloud Imperium are pushing for a 3.12.1 patch that fixes those remaining major issues somewhat and hopefully they aren't waiting for a 3.13 or later to solve them. 
But what do you think? Will Cloud Imperium fix some of those remaining issues ASAP, or at least soon, or is it something that will get pushed back? When do you expect to see their Xenothreat event? Later in January or in February? For me, that event and being able to do some cool stuff like that in-game, some big fleet battles, getting involved with cool stuff that happens on servers, um, is what I've been waiting for for a very long time, and I'm very hype about it. So I do want it ASAP, but I also want it to work and be um, as bug-free as possible. And I think that's what they're trying to do with this um, life patch, although um, there are bits that they still need to solve. Whatever your thoughts, though, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. It's January, and to start the new year, I am giving away five ships with game packages to five lucky commenters on my videos. So we've got the 100i, the 125a, the 135c, the Talon, and the Shrike all up for grabs with, as I said, game packages and lifetime insurance. Just comment on any of my videos made during January to be in for a chance of winning those. Hey, yo! Do you not like having all your data stolen? How about your browser history? Do you want some random dude on the internet to, to know all of that? W one second, I'm just watching some dank memes, as if I'm from America. But I'm, I'm from the UK. It, it, what am I using to do that? Well, it's NordVPN. It might save your life. Though, I can't think of any scenario right now that it would. Links below for a discount. Not only do I shield for Nord, but I also chill for Shadow Cloud Gaming, basically an internet-based alternative to um, having a gaming PC, um, it's a monthly subscription, very affordable, and they've got a load of uh, cool hardware options coming in the very near future. It's uh, available uh, in a large portion of the world, so check that out. Again, links below for discount. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and all that jazz, and I'll see you in the verse. Say goodbye to everyone, Zin. Goodbye to everyone.